Yes, I will let you in this time. What surprise? No, no, no. I don't like surprises. All right, I like surprises. I just don't like not knowing what they are in advance. Yeah, I know it's not. What? Uh, nothing? What are you doing? Great. 11 o'clock. I'll be ready. <laughs> an idiot. I'm so sorry. I thought he was following you. He was following me. Well, exactly. That's what made me think he was following you. Because I invited him. Well, how am I supposed to know that? You're a clever boy. You could have worked it out. <laughs> he was hiding in the bushes. Yeah. Drop the keys. I told you I had a surprise. I try not to ruin my shoes there now. I I'm sorry, but why would your surprise be a weird-looking, creepy guy sneaking around the house? It wouldn't. Well, good, because I, I wouldn't want that. <laughs> Found the keys. Ryan, I'd like you to meet my brother, Patrick. Ryan. I'm, I'm so sorry about the whole cricket bat in your head thing. These things happen. Pleased to meet you. Patrick, I'd like you to meet my fiancé, Ryan. Fiancé? Fiancé. We're getting married. <laughs> Patrick, Marilyn has told me so much about you. Hmm, she never mentioned you. Patrick. What, Marilyn? Ryan and I have been working on the show together for two years. I'm his makeup artist, you know that. Star-crossed. Ah, uh, yes, the space soap. You've seen it? Yes, once. Yeah? It was by accident. Well, 
We met on the show, and I fell in love with Mookie the moment I laid eyes on her. Mookie. Ixnay on the Ookie May. <laughs> okay, Way. <laughs> I'm not sure your code is secure. You don't want to know what she calls me. No. No, I don't. I I call you Ryan? <laughs> no. No, the other one. You know. I'm so dead. <laughs> so he's staying. Oh, yeah. Well, he can't have my room. He doesn't want your room. Well, what's wrong with it? Oh, I'm sure it's a nice room. It's a great room. But it's just that Marilyn and I are going to be married, and we're used to sleeping in the same room. We can share. I don't want to share. That's weird. Marilyn and I can share. Well, then I'll take my room. Let it go, Patrick. The room that shares a wall with your room. <laughs> hey, check it out. Oh, hey. All right, I have to um, go over there. I don't think we exactly hit it off. It's OK, honey. Patrick's just uh, a little strange. Okay, a, a, a lot strange. Yeah. He's a psycho. <clears throat> He'll come around. How, uh, how can he not? <laughs> What do you mean? What did you do with the furniture? What's well, funny you should ask. There are these things called internet auctions. Love them, they're wicked. And addictive. You sold the furniture? You sold mom and dad's furniture. A ton of other stuff, too. Stuff they left for us, both of us. Well, believe it or not, there are people out there who, who don't just think that all of that junk is garbage, that it's, that it's worth something. That's... Oh, you mean people like me? Hang on a sec. Just one second. He's sweet or what? <laughs> I'll go with or what. He's nervous. If you screw this up for me, I'll kill you. I mean it. Be normal. I'm just being myself. But right, instead, be normal. I'm sorry, it's just kind of hard because look at him. I mean, what is this, some kind of a joke? He's a gentleman and I love him. He's an actor. So what? So he lies for a living. Not to me, he doesn't. How do you know? Patrick, I, I know. He's a pro. Look, people like you, you're not going to see it coming. You don't, you don't stand a chance. They train for this kind of thing. Here you go, Chief. What is this? Season two. Enough said. No, no, I think I'll, I'll need a little more. Out of that sea of stars came all the elements that make me what I am. Everything about you is so different and strange, and yet I can't keep away. Mm. Oh, cold. Mm. This is wrong. Baby, I don't know how I became this guy jockey I am. It must be the stardust that may draw me back despite the danger to where I belong. Out there, amongst the stars. Outer bay door has been activated. Dog separation in one minute. It is a cruel existence that keeps us apart. Not as cruel as the eagle on honor bound to track the ends of this dark universe. May our transmatter beams cross again. My golden stranger. Don't look. It's a surprise. Mm. Well, can't be as bad as the last one. Oh. Karaoke! <laughs> mm. Wrong again. Do you do karaoke? You karaoke? No, I, I don't do that. So that's a no, 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 no. It's like singing in the shower. Yeah, I don't do that. Come, Come on, on, virgins first, 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 first. first. What are you doing in that? Where are you going? Just let the dog out. They're still going. Take your time. Go again if you want. 
Mars? Mars? Oh, come on. Where are you? Oh, there you are. What are you doing, lad? They're still singing. Yep, it's you and me. What do you found? Let's go see. Come on. Ooh, is it dead? Boy, I wish I could sleep. You guys asleep? Yes, Patrick, we're asleep. Now shut up. Hello? Is that you, Marilyn? <sighs> shut up and go to sleep. I'm doing a lot of tossing and turning. I hope it's not keeping you guys up. I guess we're not going to, uh, you know, tonight. Sorry, I didn't hear that. What was the last part? Say again? Naked. Well, barely. Hey, I'm making breakfast. You want in? What is it? Vegetarian? No, this is for the crazy nothing with a face Mookie diet. What about fish? What about them? Well, she eats fish. Fish have faces. Not cute little furry faces. Cute little fishy faces. Hey, man, she's your sister. This is for her. And this <laughs> is for us. You hungry? I will never be hungry again. You sure? Oh, I could eat. <laughs> Ooh, spider fight. Oh, you can run, little creature, but you cannot hide. What the? for the Christmas lights. Yes, but the spiders, now they could be anywhere. Whoa. Sorry, buddy, gotta take this. <laughs> Hi there, Ryan here. Yeah, <laughs> Baby, she's nothing to me. Nothing at all. I need the freedom. I need the heat that I get from you. Until she's gone, we'll never be together. With her out of the way, we've got the world. The power to be who we want to be. <laughs> I know, I knew it. That's why I love you. I knew it. I knew it. He is a liar and a cheat. He's probably going to make a play for the internet auction money as well. Look at him. Look at him. He's out there talking about getting rid of my little sister and you. You, you fell for it. What forms are those? Is that Taekwondo? Not exactly. I recognize some of the moves. Uh, maybe you do. Or maybe you just say you do. Where did you train? Right here. I'm sorry? Video games. Deadly martial arts punching ones, mostly. Well, that's different. I'm a human Xbox. Really? Well, I guess that could be a good way to learn. You? Oh, I just did a little fight choreography, a bit of karate out of Burbank. Oh, no, 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 I couldn't.
All right, I, I guess I could do a little sparring. <laughs> I'm the one bleeding. We're sparring you. It was an accident. Tell her, Patrick. He hit me. Nice. <sighs> What's stopping you now, actor boy, huh? Not these breaks. What the... Oh, my. Oh, please don't hit my car. Please move my car. I've stopped it. Maybe slow it down a bit. Hey. Hey. What you doing? Of course. Right. Yeah. You're, uh... The axe and the wood. You wanted a hand? Please. I used to love splitting logs. Really, that's nice. If you could just uh, hold this steady for me, it'll all be over so much quicker. Don't miss. I won't. <laughs> your leg pretty hard. Oh. I guess we're good for wood. Huh? I really need to talk to you. I'm listening. I didn't mean that. What did you mean? Are you mad at me? I don't know. Should I be? If we're having a fight, can you at least let me know what it's about? Or what? You gonna hit me? What? What would I... Oh, well, I get it. No, no, no. Maybe we should just duke it out, huh? Ooh. Oh, don't you start. Why not? It worked so well with Patrick. No, seriously, would you stop, please? Making him bleed or win him over. We've been through this. A brilliant pugilist solution to intra-family conflict. I never actually hit him. Pugilist means hitting, right? Apparently. Mookie, I don't need for him to be my best friend. Good. I said it will just being able to be in the same room as him. Exactly. Without him wanting me dead. Here comes the melodrama. Oh, that hurts. So does being karate in the nose. Go away, we're fighting. Oh, wait. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Gas, that smell. Definitely gas. Fight my like a Sunday. What? Uh, spoons are in the kitchen by the oven. You're so cute with your little fists. I just don't want him to mess things up for us. How's that? And by it, you mean Patrick? <laughs> it seems more appropriate. You cozy? Oh. I could be cozier. Could you know? Over. Hey, you ever watch that show, Star Cross? They should have it aired out in no time. The space Over. Is there another blanket? You are so beautiful to me. Well, I hope you're not planning on being up all night. It's Betty Bye for Tired Little Doggy Wonder. Thank you. 
No, 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 it's not, um, I was, uh, no, no, I wasn't, I was, uh... I don't want to know. No, 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 you can't go in there. I cannot, believe me, it's no longer a matter of choice. No, I'm, I'm saving it for Ryan. Excuse me? Oh! And excuse me. No, 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 you can't... Shoot! Oh. Morning! Ugh. Oh, um, well, feel free to, uh, move around the house, I'll, uh, save your place. Thanks. Freak! Yeah, the shower's just at the, at the back there. Okay. Yes! Oh, yeah. That's normal. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What? Look, the shower. You want to have a shower? I'm running a bath from Maryland. Hey, Mooka, your bath's ready. Thanks. Uh, are you going to get those Christmas lights up today? Sure thing, babe. I don't do Christmas. Well, Ryan does. What, what did he do to you? Don't, don't answer that. Your brother thinks I should wash. Oh, I guess you're joining me. Oh, no. No, not in the... What you doing? Nothing. Getting the holiday home ready for some fairy lights. I'd have gone with Christmas lights, but then again, I'm a guy, not an actor. Well, be careful. Too late. I'm gonna go get some groceries. Call a cab? Why would I need a cab? No reason. Don't forget. Right, and I'll pick up a few odds and ends. Patrick, you need anything? Maybe a friend? I got everything I need right here. And there. All right, let's get cracking. Back away. I'm sorry? Hmm? You off, sweetie? On foot, yes. Thank you very much. At least no one was hurt. Don't She acts like I wrecked the car. You wrecked the car, didn't you? Not on purpose. Now that. It seems that the hunter has become the hunted. Huh? Excuse me? How do you like your freedom now? My what? Dance, monkey, dance! What are you doing? It was a mistake. You fried the life out of me. Well, it won't happen again.
I've got you. As long as you got my back. Hello, Patrick speaking. Can you run to my room and see if there's a birdless tofu turkey coupon in there? What? It should be my pink purse. Uh, no, no, I'm uh, I'm holding the ladder right now. It is a safety issue. Just do it. Look, I'm trying to tell you that... You could have done it in this time. No, but... You could, I timed it. You did not. Just put the phone down and get my purse. How hard can that be? <sighs> All right, hold, please. No, I'm telling you, it's not in here. I've looked like five times. Oh, you're right, it's not. I've got it right here. Are we done? Done. <sighs> <sighs> Did you fall? I'm only asking because it looks like you may have fallen. Looks like you might have had a falling accident. Something undesired and unforeseen happened and couldn't be avoided and, and, and you fell. On your own. Wouldn't you say? Woo! <laughs> well, at least the bush broke your fall, huh? Or not. He's dead. What have you done? You haven't even started. I'm dead. Uh, just uh, taking a breather. Where's Ryan? He's bushed. Yep, but where is he? Gone? Gone. Could you maybe elaborate on that for me? For a jog. A jog? A jog, yes, yes, I'm thinking about doing the same. Whatever. Oh, it's, it's not for me. Oh? It's from Ryan. Right. It was his idea. Nice? Yeah, he seems to like you. Well, I'm very likable. Ryan? Ryan, you okay? Feel a little better? Show's on.
Mars? Mars! Bad dog! Look, sit, come, heal! No, just don't just leave the dead alone! Look, you are so getting a time out here, mister! What's he doing? Nothing. I was just, um, I was just teaching him how to play. Oh. Play what? Play dead? Which ex-girlfriend? Uh, Jan, Jane, e, e... Janie? Janie. He's never dated a Janie. Oh, well, maybe, maybe if you, um, you could go through the list, one of them would ring a bell. Uh, Gretchen? That's the one. Gretchen moved to Thailand. Oh, oh, I guess that's where he's gone. He thought he'd look her up, so he went to Thailand? Well, you, you know how it is with, with exes. Yes, I do. What are you doing? I'm calling Gretchen. In Thailand? I want to know what's going on. Yeah, it's probably long distance. I'm aware of that. You have her number? If Gretchen works at the embassy. It shouldn't be too hard to track her down. Gretchen? Oh, no, 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 no. You know, it wasn't Gretchen. It was someone else. Who? Oh, if only I could remember. Then you'd be able to follow up with a phone call or, or a visit or something. That would be nice. You know, I am at the mercy of my own failing memory, and I feel so powerless. Chicken? Are you mad? I would rather die. Better death, Stark Dominion, than life at your side. But what about your dear Colt? I've harnessed the darkness of the void, a wrinkle of the time space forces, and turned a second of pain into an eternity of torture. Hell, if that's the case, make mine a double. He's hit the plasma antimatter containment coil. That's good. Want some help? Oh, I'm ready. Right. Carry on. Are you going to need a hand? No, no, no. Warning. How about now? No, 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 no. Yes, he's getting away. What do you do? He's looking so good. And I'll get him to be back. This way. Appreciate you, Dr. Thanks. You're welcome. He can't think he'll get away with this. Chin up, my beauty. We'll be sipping thermos alone in thunder water. Mm -hmm. But uh, time to pack it in, don't you think? It's seven. So that's a no? Yeah. Sorry, yes, it's a no, or yes, it's a yes, you're going to pack it in. I'm going to wait up for Ryan. Uh, what if, um... What if what? He's late. I'll wait. Very late? Don't mind. Never? The joy, knowing that I'm related to that. Super. Uh, just, just having a nightcap. You're covered in mud. Yes. Oh, yeah. What are you doing out there? Um, gardening? At midnight. Mm, it was the best time for, um, uh, 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 for planting. How does that work? Uh, because of the plants. They're 
all asleep, so for them the move is just a bad dream and they wake up in a new happy place. What do you have to plant? I mean, what, what's so important that you have to plant it now? Uh, um, this little guy right here. Oh. Yeah, 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 it's just, uh, just in time too, by the looks of it. Patrick? Hmm? I really don't care. Well, someone has to. Is there anything else you want to talk to me about? No, 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 I think I've, uh, covered it all pretty well. Maybe Ryan? Hmm? Patrick. Oh, is he the guy with the, um, uh... Like, maybe where he went, what you may have said or done to make him go? Oh, me? Nothing? No. Why? Oh, no reason. I thought it might be nice to know where my fiancé has suddenly disappeared to, but don't let it bother you. Feel free to return to your important botanical work. Yeah, well, I really should. screaming about Mars! Ricky! What do we got here? Wow. Well, that's a prize inside. From Ruki to Pepe, together forever till death goes apart. That's what? This runs washed into my fruities.
bored. I thought I'd get these lights up. Oh, good thinking. Were you calling for Ryan? No. No, no, he was just, uh, he was doing the exact same thing the other day. I know, he's so sweet. <laughs> oh, yes, how sweet. You know, disturb the spiders, get them up and scuttling about instead of safe and trackable in their lairs. Aren't you a little curious about where he's got to? Very. But it's, uh, better this way. What way? But this him not being here way. Trust me. What does that mean? Look, I know things. No, no you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. He was gonna kill you, you know that? What? Yes, indeed. Didn't know him so well now, did you? He isn't gonna kill me. Well, not anymore, he's not. Why would he want to kill me? <sighs> For his freedom. So, so he could feel her heat. What, what heat? Who's her? Well, probably Gretchen. Look, I heard him on the phone. He was all, uh, oh, you know, baby, I need the heat that I get from you. Until she's gone, we'll never be together. What? With her out of the way, we've got the world, the power to be who we want to be. Could have been something like that. It was exactly that, wasn't it? Maybe a little? He was running lines from the show. On his cell phone? I don't think so. He was quoting Starcross in an interview. No. Yes. What, you thought he was going to kill me? <laughs> no. I'm not, not an idiot. Yeah, you are. Well, you'll get over him. He's coming back. I really hope not. Well, I hope so. You'll be fine. You'll, uh, you'll meet someone else. I don't want anyone else. No, I'll, I'll introduce you to one of my friends. You, you don't have any friends, Patrick. Oh, I have friends. Good? No, you couldn't. You have to be a normal person to have friends. You have to leave the house. Ha! See? Not necessarily. Patrick, this is really nice of you. You gonna wear that? Why wouldn't I? Oh, I just thought you might want to wear something pretty. Thanks. Suit yourself. Can we eat? Um, actually, no. Let's, uh... Wait a minute. I'm not hungry yet. Okay, dinner. Aren't you gonna get that? Aren't you? You're right there. I think you should get it. I think you were adopted. Oh. Lovely lunch. Your search for a soulmate is at an end. I beg your pardon? Hey, you must be lovely lumps. Sorry, not ringing any bells. DateMePlease.org. I think, I, I think you've got the wrong address. Really? No! Oh. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, I've just been stood up like this the last five times. Oh, well, chin up. <laughs> so you found us all right? Wrong address. Uh, quietly sensitive all male? Yeah. At datemeplease.org? Oh, hey. No, no, I, 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 I'm not into guys. I, I mean, it, it's fine. I mean, if it weren't me. But it's fine, though. Oh, this is, um... Chris. Chris, my quietly sensitive all-male friend. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Met on the internet. Never left the house. <laughs> Are you going to join us? My name is Patrick. I'll be your waiter for this evening. Please, uh, pretend I'm not here. So why am I here? I have no idea why he's dragged you out here. I have a great fiancé, and I'm very happy with the direction my life is taking. If veering wildly out of control counts as a direction... So you're saying he's the one who's unhappy and directionless? Mom and Dad have been gone for ten years, and he's still living at home. That is sad. Ten and a quarter for those of us who still care about the people who raised us and fed us and gave us a roof over our heads and the tuition to the grueling curriculum of beauty school. It is the most highly regarded school of makeup artistry in the world, and it's what I wanted. At least I have a job. <laughs> oh, and I don't. So what do you do? Not here, remember? And what is wrong with being a makeup artist? Nothing. Nothing except everything. Everything she could have been. She was as smart as mom. She could have been a doctor. She could have, she could have, she could have cured them. 
Of car accidents? She could have gone into brain surgery or nuclear physicism or astronauthood. She could have married a prince or, or the dictator of a small country. She could have had her own stamp. But this is what I wanted. You're the one who wants the stamp. Oh, and I would make such a great princess. Can we not start all this again? You know, she had it all. Here we go with the head. I got dropped on my head. You jumped off the roof. It was an accident. I fell. In a cape and a mask. The damage was done. You were 27. Wait, hold on. When you jumped off the roof, you were 27. Fell? In a cape and a mask. And tights, yes. Look, obviously you guys have some stuff to work through. I love Ryan. Hey, you loved mom and dad. It's not an either or thing. I know that. How do you know it's not? Is there any more of the sauce? Well, you don't have legs? I'll check with the chef, but, um, can't make any promises. I'm really sorry about this, Chris. My brother was trying to meddle, and you got dragged into it. It was a bit weird, and all back and forth, knowing that I was emailing his lovely lumps rather than yours. We shared a lot. It'll always be special times to me. Yeah. Precious moments. Again, sorry for the confusion. Well, congratulations on the wedding. Oh, I don't think Marilyn will be marrying Ryan anytime soon. Nope, no, I will. Yes, but now that you've met my friend Chris, you're probably feeling a little conflicted. Nope. Well, you know, don't make any rash decisions. You know, think about it. Think it through. Make sure you're certain. I'm certain. No offense, Chris. <laughs> well, story of my life. Anyway, um, I should mosey. Uh, great food, Patrick. Marilyn's made better. Thank you for dinner. Mars? Mars? I'm off to the police station. Mm. You're right. It's a great idea. Thanks. Wait, a police station? A police station with actual policemen in it? He's been gone for almost 72 hours. Well, let's at least give him the full 80. I'm going to file a missing persons report. But he's not missing. Oh, where is he? I don't know. Missing. Yeah, but just because we don't know where he is doesn't mean that he's missing persons missing, per se. We have to talk to someone. I am through with therapy. You know, Ryan's aunt is a detective. Maybe she could give me some advice. What do you want advice? I'm your man. What do you need to know? What a law enforcement officer thinks I should do about my missing fiance? Yeah, well, I, I can't help you there. Police station, then? But today we're going to do something. Like what? Like, like talk. About Ryan. Share stories, sing songs. Are you trying to torture me? No, if I was trying to torture you, you'd know you were being tortured. Maybe this is karma. Karma? What have I ever done? 
But you told Dad I was gay. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. You had that boyfriend, uh, what's his name? I never had a boyfriend. Yes, you did. The weird little guy in the, in the dress. Amy. That was a girl? Yeah, well, Amy could have been the giveaway. <laughs> well, gotta go. Yeah, but the police? I know you don't care, but I love that man. He was all right. What? He was kind of nice. Wow, that's a turnaround. It's too bad you drove him away. I really hate you. See, so you say that, but... Uh... One, what? This can't be happening. How can that happen? We can't. I'm imagining it. Oh, still there. Mm -hmm. Definitely still there. So, that's not going anywhere. What do you do now? What do you do when the actor you buried unburies himself and ends up on your back porch for everyone to see? Everyone to see. They could be seeing him right now. Woo! Oh yeah! That that that's great that that got here. That's just what I wanted.
follows. But they're for me. Oops. There we go. Uh. Okay, so that's not Mars. Well, I mean, he, he, he looks pretty dead now, but I wouldn't blame yourself. Not the fish. The crabs are still very much alive. Ryan. What about him? He's not dead. Why would he be dead? He wouldn't be. Why would you say that? So where do they come from? I picked them up on the way home. You brought these creatures into our house? I thought you were a vegetarian. Ovo lacto pesco. Bless you. Every time. So not a dream. I think I'm down a crab. Hmm. Are you done with the hammer? Why, you want it? No, no. I just need you to shut up so I can get some sleep. Thinking some of the nail placement might need rethinking. I can think of a few places I'd like you to place them. Ryan's aunt is coming by early tomorrow, so I need you to keep it down. Uh, tomorrow? No, 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 no. Tomorrow's not good for me. Why not? Uh, well, she's a detective. Yeah, that's why I called her. Well, what if she finds we're inadvertently breaking some obscure law? No, she won't, but she may help us find Ryan. Ignorance is not a defense when it comes to the fine print. Do you remember when you used to actually help me as opposed to making my life misery? Uh, can't say I do. The bully kid at school? Which one? There were a lot of them. You insisted on walking me home every day, remember? Yeah, I hated that. Well, only because you got beaten up every time. That was a rough school. Tiny Tots daycare. Yeah, they worked in packs. One of them had teeth. But you showed up every day. Yeah, well, Mom and Dad asked me to keep an eye on you. No, they didn't. I was going that way anyway. No, you weren't. Look, you're my brother, and I love you. Sometimes. But Ryan is never going to replace you or Mom and Dad. Okay? Not anymore, he's not. What do you think? Uh, not any more than anyone else ever could, he's not. Can I get you something? A cup of tea, maybe? Marilyn! Patrick, it's Ryan's aunt. What? To see us? About Ryan. What about Ryan? 
She's the detective, remember? What do I know about Ryan? I don't know anything about Ryan. Hurry up. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right out. Patrick? Hello? Detective Morse. Thought you were in the living room. I was. Yes. Well, of course you were. Everything all right in there? Marilyn, get you a nice cup of tea? That she did. Lovely young lady. Can I, um, can I help you with something? Ma'am, officer. Detective. I need to ask you some questions. Well, you know, shoot. Well, don't shoot, but, you know, fire away. Mask, what it is you're doing out here? That's the question you came all the way up here to ask? Top of my list, yes. Well, I was coming to see you. Through the window? Yes. Through the window. How would that work? As it turns out, not terribly well. If you're an officer of the law... Which I should just jump in here right now and say I, I am not. Would this not strike you as suspicious? Which part? Finding a naked man climbing out the rear window of the residence? Well, that part. Um, I guess it would depend on the circumstances. How so? Um, yes, 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 it would. I would normally use the door. But this morning the window seemed more appropriate, did it? It's a, it's a knob malfunction. Could, could you grab my... So, you've not seen or heard from them since? I'm not a peep. But you've been present at the residence the entire time? Um, at the house, yes. But you and Marilyn, you've left the premises? Yes. Miss, what reason you had for leaving a crime scene? Uh, I've left a couple of times, actually. I went to get some groceries and... Can we go back to crime scene? Her fiancé goes missing and she decides to go grocery shopping. I, I didn't know he was missing at that point. But you admit that he's missing now? Well, yes, of course he's missing. And you saw this as an opportunity to pick up some fresh fruit and veggies, did you? I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that. Were you on good terms with the missing gentleman? Ryan, your nephew, yes. Uh, we were engaged to be married. You know that. You sent us a knife block. Look, you're welcome, dear. Am I to infer from that that you are? Good terms, yes. Had you and he ever discussed insurance? I... I see. So the multi-thousand dollar settlement was news to you. Multi-thousand? That's right. Well, it was the best thing in the show. Excuse me? You didn't think so? Of course I did. This is stab cross the space soap. Daytime Emmy nominated. Not usually my thing. It really sucked me in. Did it? Ryan was very good. Yes, yes he was. I thought you never watched it. I watched it a bunch of times. You said once by accident. I lied. Not that I lied that often. <laughs> but you watched it and enjoyed it. Yes. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? Sorry? Well, you stand to make a substantial amount of money if Ryan doesn't turn up. I do. She does? She does. I think the time for games is over, Missy. Is it? Aye. This is a serious criminal investigation. When did this become seriously criminal? When the Black Widow here lined her web with the proceeds of a rising star. You think I murdered him? You're the one throwing murder words around. And by murder words, she means the word murdered. I'm going to need to look around. Uh, don't you need a, a warrant for that? Well, you could refuse. Oh, great. But I'd advise against it. Yeah, but, but you're the one doing the looking around, so you're probably a little biased. I've got nothing to hide. Search away. Actually, I, I prefer to have a quick go-around, maybe with a, a vacuum cleaner, just to clean up a little bit, in case there are any, um, uh, you know, uh, nasty surprises. And by nasty surprises, I mean cleanliness issues rather than um, criminal uh, tampering issues. So you're consenting to the search? Actually, rain check. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll take a look around. Herb garden? Just the herb. So, uh, not an electric ladder. Yeah, he saw me coming. Yeah. No? 
sien. Ver, sweetie. Hat zijn arm. En dat is een Rex. Zo, everything in orde? Oh, yes. Great. I'll see you downtown. No. You won't get away with this little lady. I'll be back with a warrant and a forensics team. Forensics? Don't go anywhere. I've got my eye on you. Yes. Well, thanks for coming by. You too, sweet cheeks. Well, she seems nice. So there's nothing to worry about. You haven't? Let her bring her DNA scanners, her, her fingerprint lifters, and her snuffer dogs. What's a snuffer dog? I'm sorry, I'm a little hazy about who and what shows up at police searches. Well, I can see sniffer dogs. How could she think I was responsible for Ryan's disappearance? Well, I have no idea. Purpose. You killed him by accident while you were trying to kill him on purpose. You make it sound like it's my fault. How do you live with yourself? I thought he was trying to kill you. He was quoting Starcrossed in an interview. I thought maybe I didn't like him. So you killed him? You think that's a normal response to maybe not liking someone? Gee, I hope Patrick maybe likes this one or it's... It was not like that. If that was supposed to be the throat cutting sound. What is he doing in your bed? Well, I didn't put him there. Well, he's there now. Well, I feel better knowing you know. You feel better. A bit. How dare you feel better? You've killed my fiancé, wrapped him up in the one remaining family heirloom you haven't auctioned off online, and I only find out about it because there's a corpse in your bed, and I'm the one up for murder? Well, some things are better if you just get them out in the open. You can talk about them and, you know... Oh, like murder? So now what? You gonna knock me off, too? No, you're my sister. How would that help me? Hello? Hmm. Look, I, look I, I'm, I'm sorry about all this. I really am. And not just because you're the one going to jail for it. Why are you such an idiot? Oh, I got dropped on my Rhetorical. Head. What do we do now? Who's we? What do I do now? The way I see it, you've got two options. Jail. Okay. No, you go to jail. Oh, I don't like that so much. Or get rid of the body. I have tried that. Yeah. But I have. Are you kidding? Can't come back if it's in pieces. Wait, it has a name. Its name is Ryan. What do you want? Little bits can't drag themselves out of the lake and up the hill. Well, you're pretty cavalier with the power tools. Whether you love this guy. I did. Very, very much. But you've taken him away from me and made me an accessory to murder, haven't you? Involuntary manslaughter. I'm doing this for both of us. I'm not sure I want either of us to be doing this. Oh, jail it is then. I'll be outside. Voila. I can't feed them that. Why not? The raw food diet's supposed to be good for them. Apparently it'll give them a shiny coat and his poo won't smell. So, but you're, you're feeding Ryan to Mars. No, no, not all at once. I don't want him to get sick. Well, what about me? I mean, we could scatter him around the garden, I guess, but there's always a chance that they'll find him. Well, some of them. <laughs> it just seems wrong. That's because it is wrong.
You look awful. Soy jerky? Oh, still a bit queasy. Well, it could have something to do with the whole body in the blender thing. Hmm. Didn't bother you when you killed him, though, did it? Not as much as the mincing. Mm, what can I say? When it comes to murder, cleanup is a bitch. None of this was supposed to happen. This is, this is terrible. What's the problem? I'm helping you out here. Is this the problem? Shouldn't you be more upset? Oh, I could be madder. Or saner. This coming from you? It takes one to know one. I don't want this. I'm doing what I have to do because my only living relative is a murdering psychopath. Hey, what you doing? Mars? Mars, it's me, Patrick, remember? Patrick? Mars? The neighbor's dogs? Well, Mars can't eat them all. Why not? Well, there's quite a bit. He didn't look like that big of a guy, but we have made quite a meal out of him. Oh. <laughs> Can you uh, get the door for me? No. This is bad. He was a good guy. What? Ryan. He was a good guy. I thought you hated him. I did at the time. At the time he was alive? Well, yes, he made great breakfast. Well, now he can make great lunches and dinners as well. That's not funny. Why didn't you think of this before he was dead? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't know what it would be like if he was dead until after he was dead. I'm having a hard time with it. How do you think I feel? Well, to be honest, I'm finding your whole response to murder thing a little peculiar. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there some sort of standard response? How am I supposed to respond? Oh, I don't know. Maybe not quite so eager to turn your soulmate into kibbles and bits. These are not the actions of a vegetarian. What happened to Ovo Lacto Fresco, huh? Bless you. He had a face. He had a cute, fuzzy face. You should be happy. You wanted him gone. He's gone. I'm just the aid in aiding and abetting, remember? I wish you were here. Can we eat a cake, Steve? Why not? Mars can't even look me in the eyes. Guilty conscience. You're the dog. Ryan was a caring, honest, funny man, and you took him away from me. I've done a terrible thing. I dragged the two most important people in my life down with me. Okay, one of them's a dog, but you know what I mean. I think so. You were right, and I was wrong. The guy was a keeper, and I threw him away. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. Ryan! <laughs> Ryan! 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 I'm not dead. <laughs> not dead. Undead! <laughs> Escape, Marilyn! Save yourselves! I'll send this abomination back to the hell from which it came! No, seriously, I didn't die. You didn't kill me.
I know. It's all in the makeup. Oh, Mary, you're sweet, but it was you that made the character so alive. Thanks, babe. <laughs> he was so dead. He was, wasn't he? Honey, I wanted to get a few shots for my portfolio before you messed it up. Oh, I'm sorry, sugar lips. He didn't kill you? No. We knew you'd never come around to accepting Ryan on your own, so we just thought we'd give you a little nudge. Little nudge? I choreographed a ladder accident myself using my stunt training. I never went for groceries. She was hiding in the backyard working on my makeup. And I kept you busy on the phone. Birdless tofu turkey coupons. But I buried you. No, actually, you buried him. What is that? An inflatable sex man. What, an inflatable sex man? What? I filled him with water. Marilyn had him laying around. He was perfect. Yes, yes, he was. Uh, perfect for staging my honey's death. <laughs> I threw you in the lake. Yes, yes, you did. Inflatable. He's a floater. Amongst other talents. Well, the police. What about the police? Just me, sweet cheeks. Only me. You saw me naked. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for not being dead. Thanks for not killing me. Come here, big guy. You? You are so evil. Yeah. And you, you, you're like Scottish evil. <laughs> but that was so good. I knew you and Ryan would hit it off. You just couldn't admit it to yourself. I admit it, I admit it. I found the perfect woman, and now I finally got a brother of my own. Yes, 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 you did. Can you, um... This is so beautiful. Uh, uh, brother? Oh, did you listen to that? I'm getting a bit weepy here. What do you need, bro? Stop. Hug now. Happy. Oh. Sorry, dude. With her out of the way, we've got the world. The power to be who we want to be. These feelings are so new to me. How can I trust them? I've learned kilos by almost losing you to that Paranta freezing and bounty hunter. How could I ever again risk that when my love for you is infinite? As infinite as the crushing force of an imploding star. Oh, Colt! I was sad to see her go. Sad to leave that glimmering beauty from another race so different from my own. But happy. Happy to be back amongst the red hot fiery solar winds that would take me to the icy blue planets of the perimeter. That'll be her. Oh, great, she found it. Oh, great, she did. Who's she? Oh, no. What? In all the excitement, we totally forgot to tell you. Well, so tell me now. My little sis. Sister? Yeah, she's coming to help with the wedding. Oh. What? Nothing. What's wrong? It's nothing. Great. I've just really been enjoying all the quality time, you know? Get out of here. You'll love her. I mean, did you have to park on the block the driveway? <laughs> I never like that much anyway. You still gonna marry him? Elise, please. So, you couldn't talk him out of this. Oh, he tried. Really? <laughs> really. I like him already. At least remember what I said. Well, you said that myself. I never said that. Oh, whatever. This is my future brother-in-law, Patrick. Patrick, this is my sister, Elise. Hello. Yourself. Well, perhaps you'd like me to uh, show you around? Perhaps I would. Oh, no, 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 not gonna happen. What? Maybe I'll do the show. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm on go. it. Come on. Yeah. That was your living room. No, no, you're not. You, you are coming with me.
Turn that bloody thing off! <laughs>